you very much. Hello. So the thing about cities is that there's so much stuff in them that we obviously, we, we usually don't see them. So I thought I'd show you a few of my favorite things that you mightn't have noticed around Dublin, like a purple roof, which I've put in because the rest of my slides are going to be very gray, like this one. Cities are often identified by their skylines, but we often, we seldom look at the rooftops, and so we miss the chimney pots, which are shaped like rockets, or we mightn't actually count that there are 24 chimneys on that building in Dame Street. What about the stones beneath our feet when we look down? Well, if you've gone across Front Square and Trinity, you'll have noticed or been aware of the cobblestones. And if you look at them, you'll see they are really cobbles. They would have been collected from beaches or from riverbanks. They've been tumbled by water. They're all different. They're irregular. They're natural. And they're very different to the things that we actually call cobblestones out on the streets of Dublin. Because if you cross the road to Foster Place, you'll see that the stones there that we call cobblestones like these, they're regular, rectangular, artificial, and man-made. And these are called sets. They're not cobblestones, they're called sets. And these particular ones were made in a quarry run by Charles Stuart Parnell, the politician, on his estate in Avondale and Wicklow. And he had 200 men making these in the 1800s to pave the streets of Dublin. So more of the stones beneath our feet. These are some beautiful golden granite pavements, footpaths around Dublin. There's fewer and fewer of them. All of Dublin used to be paved with gold like this, but they're being replaced by concrete. There's a really beautiful example on Dame Street, and I just love the way the fan of stone goes around the corner there. And that particular one features in a very nice book on the stones of Dublin by Patrick Wise Jackson in the geology department here in Trinity. But for the ultimate stone beneath your feet, the very bedrock of the city, we have to look at the oldest buildings that we have. And this is part of the city wall. It's near Thomas Street. And it's made from the very stuff of Dublin, from the bedrock. It's a dull grey limestone. But it's the stuff of Dublin, and the old buildings are made of it because 900 years ago, if you were building St. Alden's Church, the easiest thing was to use the local grey limestone. We don't get foreign stone in our buildings until much later. And in 1780, this was a private bank that was built on Cork Hill. It's now the city rates office. Really beautiful building. And it's made with an English stone. Portland stone is a creamy white stone. And it's Jurassic, and it's packed with the fossils of Jurassic creatures. And an interesting thing about Cork Hill is that it's the shortest street in Dublin, I reckon. That's it, basically. And there's only that one building on it. And it runs from Dame Street to uh, Castle Street and the gate into Dublin Castle. But anyway, if you look at the corner of that building, in among the Jurassic creatures, you'll see this. And it's a crow's foot mark. It's about the size of my fingers. And surveyors used to use this. They would place their instruments against it when they were mapping the streets of Dublin. There are thousands of these carved into walls all around the city and country, and we never see them. They're a really lovely piece of history. Um, they used to be protected structures. You couldn't move them, because to interfere with them would be to interfere with the mapping of the country. Round the corner in Castle Street itself is this lovely, modest building, and it's a national monument, because in the 1990s, when they renovated it, they discovered a fragment of a timber, a relic, of a much, much older building in the wall between number four and the art gallery on the corner. And in fact, the timber is now preserved behind glass and on show in the gallery. You can see it through the window or go into the gallery. And what it is, it's a timber from the last timber gauge building that stood, this is it, the timber gauge building that stood on the corner of Castle Street, way back, Elizabethan times. And a timber from that building survives in number four, which is home to the Dublin Civic Trust and well worth it going in to check if you're interested in Dublin at all. This is my favourite to finish on. It's a modest building again on Kildare Street. It looks like it's made of concrete. You've probably passed it hundreds of times. But look at it the next time, because it's not concrete. It's made with the most beautiful limestone. And close up you can see it's nothing but fossils. More fossils per square inch than anywhere else in Dublin. It's a, a petrified coral reef, basically frozen in time, and it's Galway limestone. 
and it's right next to that popular pub, uh, pub quiz question, the uh, carved, billiards play, uh, carved monkeys playing billiards on the Alliance Francaise. And that's our whirlwind tour. Thank you very much. I hope I've given you something that you haven't seen before. And if you'd like more, we have an audio guided walking tour at Ingenious Ireland. Thank you. Thank you.